Hey guys, first of all, Happy New Year, Chiba here with another video, and today I'm gonna show you how to mod your PS3 with custom firmware. Unfortunately, I have to apologize for uploading the video too late, because the toolset is not available anymore on the PS3 Exploit Me website, as you can see from the pop-up, but we have some alternatives, so stick with me and I'll show you. So if you don't want to wait for the official, you can ins meanwhile install the Hanak, for example, but you can still install this custom firmware following this guide by using an alternative method. As you can see, for this video I used this method here, which consisted in using a public DNS server to re regain access to the old uh, PG toolset. So I used the DNS this guy hosted, or you called instead host your DNS, but this method is not available anymore. So you can still follow this guide to install N firmware or the custom firmware by using an alternative BG toolset hosted by another guy that you will find down here in this reddit post, as you can see. You can use this mirror instead, and you can still follow my guide to install this custom firmware on your PlayStation because the toolset will be the same, just re-hosted on another website. All you have to do is skip the DNS part of this video and keep going with the procedure. So, as you can see, this is the new mirror, this is forever.me slash ps3. And you can use this one, as people say, it works and is fairly recent. As you can see, it is from 5 days ago. So instead of opening PS3 exploit, you will instead need to open this website on your PS3. So if all of that is clear, enough of the talking and let's get to modding. So on a brand new PS3 user, you want to first download the most recent firmware, which should be 489 by this time, and update your PlayStation firmware to it by going to the settings and scrolling up to system update. From here you can select update via storage, it will find your firmware which is 4.89 original firmware, press enter and proceed to accept all the following agreements and update your system to the latest version. Ok, so at this point I had to configure a DNS for bypassing the, the website and entering anyway, but since the certificate is not available anymore, uh, we, you can go uh, directly to the next step, which is uh, opening the website I provide you at uh, the start of the video. But before, you will need to check that you have JavaScript enabled on your internet browser and do a few actions to make sure everything goes smooth. So, uh, open the web browser and go to Tools and Cookies and make sure they are allowed. JavaScript is on. Then you will need to go again to Tools and you will need to clean some cookies and cache. So, just like I'm doing, scroll and delete cache too. And this should be just enough for us to proceed to mod our PS3. So now you can open the website I provided you at the start of the video. Instead, I will open PS3 Exploit because this is an old recording. But the toolset will be just the same, it will look identical, and it will work just fine. So once the tool boots up, you will see that you have no difference from yours and mine. Just the graphics will look a little bit different because my resolution just got messed up. But when you're here, you will just wait for it to initialize the framework and it will tell you if your PS3 is moddable or not. It will take a few minutes, and if during the process your PS3 does some beeps, or the fan starts spinning fast, it is completely normal, don't worry, nothing is happening yet. So once the toolset is ready, you will see this um, screen, and you just go and press OK to continue. You can now move on and click on System Manager, and it will scan your memory for checking if your PS3 is compatible and once it is done you should hear a sound and if you scroll down you will see that it says 
uh, CFU compatible PS3 or if it is not it will tell you it is not compatible so you should not proceed following this tutorial. Now if your PS3 is compatible you can uh, choose to take a dump of your uh, flash memory by going on uh, the folder flash memory here on the list in the file browser and click for uh, saving the dump on your USB or hard drive where, wherever you prefer to save it. This step is not mandatory but however if you want to keep a dump a, basically a copy of your flash memory if anything goes wrong this is really nice to have for backup. So now let's proceed with uh, modding your firmware. You now will need to go to flash memory patch and click download patch file. You can download uh, whatever you want, I downloaded it on the USB. Just uh, click save a couple of time, I already have it on the USB so I will have to override it. Once you start the process it will download the file to your PS3. Once you're done, head back to flash memory patch and this time click for load patch from file. You now need to select the file you just downloaded, that is no FSM patch or something, then click it and make it load. Okay, once it is loaded you should get a nice pop-up with a green check mark, if you get anything else please avoid continuing on following this tutorial because you may break your console. So if anything has gone right and you have loaded and validated, close the window and proceed again on flash memory patch and this time we're gonna apply the patch. So once you click apply loaded patch it will ask you if it is worth the risk and you can choose no or yes to continue patching your PS3. Now we start the patching and we wait for it to finish. Once it finish, if anything is went right, you will get a green check mark and you can now reboot your console. If anything went different, you might want to ask for help on PS3 forums for unbreaking your console. Once rebooted, if you go back to the tool, you will see that your PS3 will now say CFW. You can now download the CFW firmware that is Evil Nut 489 and unpackage it on the desktop and drag it into a USB flash memory. You will need to keep the folder structure with PS3, like the usual when you do a normal software update. So on your PS3, if you proceed and update via storage, you will see that it will say 489 Evil Nut. Proceed to install the update like a normal system update, like the usual, and just wait for the process to finish. Then you will reboot your PS3. Once you finish installing, you will see a PlayStation 3 folder on your game section on your PS3. This should usually mean that your PS3 is successfully modded. You can now proceed to install Multiman, Irisman or whatever you want and have fun with your modded PS3. I hope everything went smooth for you during this process. Thank you really much for watching, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to my channel for more useful content, tutorial and modding. Oh, and click the bell button below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!